Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Hardcore Iron Man video. So you might be able to guess by our current setup, we have a Dragon's Task, uh, or at least a Blue Dragon Slayer Task. However, Kona was kind enough to give us a task in the Ogre Enclave, which is a horrible place to do an assignment. However, this is a setup that I take with me, I literally just run over there. Uh, you have to enter from the center of the market, so I literally have to run all the way around here, up through here, down there, round into this. Uh, kill the dragons and I, I teleport out to castle walls to re-gear and stuff and then come back I was debating changing my house to Yanil, but I need to use a bank every time So it just kind of made sense just to use a Julian teleport. So sorry the uh, the castle walls teleport So it's not it's not the best assignment. It's gonna take me a long time to kill 135 of them However, we can go ahead and actually bank some of the dragon hide obviously I've been doing some of them as you can probably tell by this uh, I'm not gonna take all the blue dragon hide, but I will take like Maybe 50% of it, give or take. Anyway, the reason I'm recording this intro clip is I want to get myself a pair of ranger boots now. Ah, this, one day it's going to happen, I swear. Alright, anyway, I'll join you back when we finish the task. I honestly don't know what to record in these episodes. However, 77 strength on the hardcore Iron Man seems like a pretty good goal for me. The reason I'm recording that is because we're three levels off 100 combat now. Uh, when we get to 100 combat, I might actually just take a break from doing Slayer and go and get full void. Uh, it's going to be useful on the accounts and it's a pretty decent way to train my stats to be fair. And we're one level away from 1700 total level. Uh, this actually isn't too bad to be fair. Like, it's not... It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Alright, there we go. That is another Blue Dragons task done and dusted in probably the worst place or the worst Slayer task in existence. Uh, arguably probably worse than the one of Bloodveld's in the God Wars dungeon. However, I've never actually had that one before. We do have a hard clue scroll in the bank now, so I'm going to open that up now and see if we can get anything decent out of it. Let's get another task. Alright, Conar, be good to me. What's my next assignment going to be? Fire Giants in a Waterfall Dungeon. That's not too bad. I also realised as well, that was our 110th task, meaning we do get our hands on 90 Slayer points from that. So we've got 270 in total. Probably going to save them up for a little while. Alright, we're going to be taking a little break from doing Slayer. And I'm going to go head back over and do Mahogany Homes. Like, I was actually really enjoying it the other day, and we're currently 56 construction. I really want to know how much XP we're going to get after doing all these Teak Planks. I'm probably going to have to go and buy some Law Runes at some point. Uh, we only have like 290 in the bank or in the pouch, but we've got like 900k cash anyway, so we should have plenty of money there. Uh, we've got loads of steel bars, we can always make more if we need them, and like I said, we've got all these planks anyway. So I'm going to go ahead, start using these, and I'll join you back at some milestones. I didn't even realise, but the Twitch chat has just reminded me, with that construction level, we just hit 57. But not only that, we got 1700 total level. Oh, I'm so happy with that. That's actually amazing. One more thing, if you're doing Mahogany Homes, I would highly recommend checking out the plugin hub on Runelight. And there's a plugin uh, that you can download called Mahogany Homes, and it basically highlights everything for you. But not only that, when you teleport to a town like Ardoin or whatever, it'll tell you exactly where you have to go and where the person is. You don't have to memorize them all the time. I'll show you very quickly now. I'll go and get myself a new task in a moment. Also, when you've done it, it'll also highlight the person. So as you can see, it's Jess I need to speak to. So it tells me to go and speak to Jess, and then we get our XP reward. Uh, I'm going to quickly teleport over to Falador though and I'll show you exactly how it works because it is a very, very good tool and I think everyone should use it. Beast. Alright, so we'll go over to Amy. I'm still using uh, level 20 contracts just to use up all of my oak logs, but for now, we'll go ahead and do that. It tells us to go to Holcidius, so we teleport to the Glade. And then, like I said, it's got an arrow up here telling us to go all the way over there. So rather than having to know where every single house is and stuff, you literally just use this plugin it tells you exactly where to go. It's so freaking good. And also, if you're first starting out, it's kind of hard to tell what's broken and what's not broken. Uh, sometimes like the clocks and stuff or the like the cloak racks or the ranges and stuff like the sink for example like without this plugin it's kind of hard to tell that it's broken uh, but with the plugin it just highlights everything for you and i think it's a really cool feature so i'd highly recommend checking it out again that is just uh, it's called mahogany homes it's in the plugin hub all right so that was the last contract that i'm gonna do from the easy one we've run out we've pretty much run out of oak planks now i've got like 30 left in total uh, i want to save them just in case we need them for anything so we did 57 contracts in total which isn't bad at all i'm going to go and get myself another contract though we'll do a adapts contract now instead and that's what we're going to do in future however there is a sub quest or a little uh, mini quest i believe called daddy's home which should give me some decent experience as well as some house teleports and stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and do that apparently it only takes like five minutes mate look at this absolute beast here that's what we're gonna look like very very soon maybe maybe all right i'm pretty sure we've done the quest daddy's home not too sure why jagex picked that that's a bit of a weird name 
Uh, let's go ahead and run through this and see exactly what we get. So we get a thousand coins off that, a bit of construction XP, as well as that we open up the crate and a pretty decent amount of supplies to be fair. Some planks, some bolts of cloth, um, oak planks, not bad. Uh, steel, sorry, house teleport tabs, five of them, and follow door tab. I mean, you certainly can't complain with that, can you? All right, there we go. That should be level 60 construction. We can now build seven rooms in our house and we can now build a throne room. I actually don't know what else you can get. There's so many things you unlock with construction. It's actually ridiculous trying to remember what levels there are for everything. I'm pretty sure I need level 87 though for a lectern that will allow me to make house teleports, which is kind of what I want. But we should be able to boost from that as well from... Uh, 64, which I'm hoping we'll be able to get with all the supplies that we've got. We're going to keep doing mahogany at homes for now. I'm going to try and go for the uh, the plank sack, which I think is 350 points. We're currently 239, so I'll join you back when we're getting close to that. I also believe I just said level 87. I meant level 67. I think it's Eagle Lectern. I'm actually not too sure off the top of my head. All right, this is the final contract we need in order to get our hands on. 350 points so i'm going to teleport over to falador go and speak to my girl amy and get myself the plank sack this should speed up the construction grind quite a lot actually because uh, we should be able to do a lot or go a lot longer before having to restock i think it holds 28 planks which is very nice so plank sack buy the plank sack perfect so check oh you can put different planks in it as well i didn't actually know that i thought it was just one type of planks that is very good all right, we're going to carry on going. We've still got like 400... Actually, let's get a contract first. I think we've still got like 400 planks in the bank. So we're currently sat at level... Let's have a quick look. At level 62. I'm hoping we get to 64 just so we can boost nice and easy with the saw to get the eagle lectern or the mahogany eagle lectern, I believe it's called. So if we take out all these teak planks now, fill it, and then I think we can do that a little bit... I think we can do that again just to fill it up a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. So now... I'm probably going to take four steel bars with me and the rest as, hang on. So I'll take four steel bars with me and then the rest as normal planks. And I believe it uses planks out of your plank sack before it uses planks from the inventory. So that's going to be very good. All right, repairing this stand should get me to level. It didn't. What about the sink? There we go. Level 34 construction, which means we can now boost with the crystal saw to make the eagle, the mahogany eagle lectern lantern thing in my house so I can make house teleport tabs. I'm so freaking happy. We're going to keep going though for now. Uh, we're going to finish off using all of the planks we've got in the bank, as I keep saying, but we have at least hit the minimum level uh, that we wanted, which is to be able to boost to 67. So I'm very, very happy so far. Turns out as well, it doesn't use the planks in your sack first it uses them second i'm not sure if it works differently when using them in construction in your player owned house uh, i'm pretty sure jacket said it would use the planks out of the sack first but i don't know i'm not too sure about that 65 construction pretty sure that is worth recording nice only a couple of planks left though not too sure we're gonna get to 66 that could be the last level we've had 250k xp today so far and we've got 94k per hour now i'm pretty confident that that would be a lot higher if we didn't do the oak planks first but i mean i'm definitely not not going to complain about that level 87 farming 87 farming that's mental so I'm just going to collect my uh, spirit, my spirit tree. I don't think it's actually grown yet. So I've still got to run to the farming guild from the farming patch. For, sorry, from the uh, fairy ring, but or the battlefront teleport. But it's not all too bad, I suppose. All right, let's go and plant some more seeds. The herb lord gains are going to be amazing. I have logged in this morning, and I have a beautiful sight to behold. My spirit tree in the farming guild has fully grown, and now we can teleport here with ease. So if we do this, we can go over to the Grand Exchange. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is every time I need to come to the farming guild, I can literally teleport to the Grand Exchange using the Varrock teleport. If you guys don't know, there's two options here after completing. I think it's a medium diary you get this. Uh, and then we're over to this little spirit tree. Do this. Go to the farming guild. And I'm here instantly. Now, one thing I completely... Like, I, I kind of did a forehead move here. In the last episode, I made myself, like, 70-odd battlefront teleports. I could have just put the teleports in my house. You only need 100 of them. 100 spells to do the normal teleport rooms in the chambers. So that would have been a smarter play. I might still end up doing that, to be fair. We need to make a lot of house tablets, though. So. I'm going to go ahead and make myself the Mahogany Eagle Lantern lectern thing this morning. And, uh, get myself some house tabs, because... They, they, they're OP. And I can get myself the scrolls of redirection as well from the... What's that place called? The uh, Nightmare Zone. Right, anyway, let's go and do some farming runs. 
Let's get our... Oh, actually, we are getting very close to 77 Herblow as well. 77 Herblow means we can boost with a pine to get to 81, which means we can make Saradome and Bruise, and we can start doing some dangerous content. Kind of nervous, not going to lie. All right, the time has come. It's time to go and build the Mahogany Eagle Electron Lantern in the house. To do that, though, I do need to get myself a gold leaf. Now, I believe these are quite expensive, so I think they're about 100k. Hopefully, we don't have to buy too many of these. I think it's just the one that we need for now. The value of that is 130,000 gold pieces, which, to be honest with you, isn't too bad. Uh, and then I can go ahead and make myself some house teleport tabs, which I'm actually very excited to do. Uh, I'm actually thinking as well, I'm going to probably build a... A chapel in my house so I can get a altar. Uh, the altar is going to be good. And I'm going to make a load more teleports. Like I'm just going to put a lot of chambers in here, a lot, a lot of portal chambers, and make like maybe four or five different portal rooms. And I can use house teleport tabs whilst being on a lunar spell book and get around the map and stuff. So it's going to be really, really helpful. Now I need to figure out what I need to build. Probably a study, right? Hang on a second. Bear with me. All right, there's the study level 40. I'm just going to build it. Actually, now turn it clockwise. There we go, and then the lectern's there. I'm probably going to be moving the house around anyway, to be fair, but let's go to the lectern space and build the mahogany... Wait, demon? No, I want the eagle lectern. Wait, is there a difference between them? I want to quickly check on that first. Hang on. Wow, okay, the demon one is a very weird one. You can do enchantment tablets, but you can also have a Varrock teleport and then bones to peaches and bones to bananas. Why is Varrock on there, though? That is incredibly confusing. However, let's have a look at this. And as you can see now, we have access to create house teleport. All right, so teleport into the Eagle's Iry with a bracelet of clay and then teleport into Castle Wars is a fantastic way to get soft clay. This is so quick. Uh, I think I've got about 364 soft clay out of all the bracelets that I've made. So it's going to make a nice amount of house teleport tabs. I do need to buy myself some law runes though. So we'll finish up mining all the clay first and then we'll go and buy the law runes. So I'm actually going to be really excited to get some uh, house teleport tabs on the account. Like, it's something I've wanted for such a freaking long time now. All right, so I've left some of the soft clay in the bank just in case we need it for anything else. Now, uh, we don't have 350 law runes, unfortunately. We only have 200 in the bank. So what I'm going to go and do is quickly... Go over to Yanil, so the Wizards Guild. Actually, tell you what, we can teleport there with the Nightmare Zone thing. I think it's going to be slightly quicker. I'm going to go ahead and buy myself like 500 Law Runes because they always come in handy. We can use them for portals and stuff anyway. And uh, it's going to be very helpful when making these into house teleport tabs. All right, this will do. I bought myself some more Nature Runes as well because you can never have too many Nature Runes. And there's a full stock at the moment. Must because it's like 8.30 in the morning. I certainly cannot complain about gaming this early. Right, I'm going to go ahead now and start making some house teleport tablets. I'm pretty sure we get XP for doing this. So that'd be very nice. Uh, and also with this, I'm pretty confident that I can get my butler to go to the bank for me however I, I don't really know how this is going to work so i'm going to test it out for a little bit and then i'll fill you guys in on what exactly we're going to be doing right does it work just like yeah it does perfect so it works just like getting logs you just use them on him and he'll unnote them for you Right, this is nice and AFK. We get 30 XP per one that we do we're definitely not going to get a level off it however we will end up with 250 house tablets at the end of this yes all right, and there we go, 362 house teleport tabs. I'm going to run over to Nightmare Zone now, actually, and get myself some scrolls of redirection with some points that we've got. I'm hoping I've got some points left in the bank, but I actually don't know. Yeah, we've got 300k points here, so I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy 50 of them for now. Uh, I think 50 is more than enough. If you guys don't know, if you use this on a teleport tablet, you can teleport to all of the house portals as well as Trollheim or Trollheim. Uh, which I'm actually really freaking happy with. This is going to be so good for getting around the map. This is like a massive teleport. Like, uh, this is this is like unlocking the first few teleports. This is the next level to that, and I swear to you. I'm going to upgrade my house very soon. I don't really want to spend all my cash at the moment. I'd rather wait until we have a little bit more money, but for now, this is a very, very big upgrade on the account. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.